Map number three in the Jera Cup 15 Grand Final. Rudin with a 2-0 uh, lead here. That means three match points for him to take home the $100 of this week's Jera Cup. Thanks to Jera and of course goodgame.ru, Morozov and Kayseris, the admins for the day. And uh, yeah, after Echo Isles and Nomad Isles, we have Last Refuge. We saw the quarterfinals and the semifinals of Hawk, and he played Warchief and Foggy. Really good Night Elves. And he destroyed them on both Echo Isles and Nomad Isles. Rudin was able to destroy Hawk on Nomad Isles and Echo Isles. So, this one is Hawk's favorite map in the entire map pool. And the statistics for Rudin on LR doesn't look that good. He only won like 33% or something like that out of his games on LR. And uh, yeah. So I would say Hawk is still the favorite in this map. But considering the performance of Rudin in the first two games I'm voting for uh, a clean 3-0 victory here. Everything is possible in Warcraft 3. We have once again the old man on the horse. The Archmage is back on the battlefield for Hawk in the upper right. In the lower left we have, of course, the Demon Hunter for Rudin. Serbia versus Russia. Night Elf versus Human. Rudin versus Hawk. Map number 3. And, uh, yeah. This is a little harder for Hawk, I guess, because the mercenary camp is uh, well protected by a Rock Golem, High Priest and Mud Golem. So... It's kind of hard to creep, but with Militia everything is possible. Demon Hunter is creeping the easy green ones here and then uh, walk towards the expansion. So maybe he's doing the same thing that he did on Nomad Isle, counter expanding, but of course not that aggressive because with Demon Hunter it's not that easy without the area of effect because he won't skill I I emulation in 9 out of 10 games, I'd say. But yeah, with militia support, everything is possible, as I said before. Robe of the Magi, great item, more water elementals. He got the priest, of course, healing this up. Oh my god, there is emulation! There, what a bad prediction by me, but of course it makes sense now. But he's tanking a lot of damage, but he's dealing damage at the same time. Level 2, so this is where emulation gets really effective. With evasion, you can even uh, get surrounded. And still, it's a great position for you, especially against like ghouls or something. Oh my god, he's killing so he's killing so much. This immolation already paid off. Four peasants dead. Four peasants dead. The early games for Hawk are just so incredibly bad. It's just nightmare after nightmare after nightmare. This is like I don't know a Freddy Krueger movie. But now the Demon Hunter is low on mana. Oh, no evasion! Mana burn! Okay. Okay, it's not an all-in like, for example, if you have to play against a, a ghoul push or whatever, where mana burn is not that important, because usually the undeads skill the aura on, on level 1. So then mana burn is not that important. But here with water mantles, of course, it makes sense. So, yeah. Huntress. We saw one. We see one Huntress and a tech. So no mass Huntress, but single Huntress. I think that's a, that's a wise choice. And Hawk is once again going for this expansion. And with emulation available, with Huntress available, this is once again great area of effect damage. Here he comes, Demon Hunter. The devil with the two blades. Emulation turned on, and he's not going for the passants, he's not going for the footmen. Okay, now he is, he got it right, he got it right, he got everything here. Experience and the item, no mana anymore, so no emulation anymore. But you see, this, these passants are just dying left, right and center. More hunters coming in, he's not even in problems. Oh, oh, he is, oh, <laughs> my prediction game today. Falls off every cliff there is. So now all the moon wheels are dry. This is some time that Hawk can use 
to breathe a little. Um, reproduce your workers, get the lumber mill up, protect your expansion, get the expansion up in the first place. But it's not much time that he has. It's not much time that he has two hunters already. Nope, just one. But he stole it. He stole the priest. That is so huge. The healing and the dispo is versus human. And stealing it from Hawk. He didn't do a thing except dispelling this water mantle, but this is all time that Hawk cannot heal himself up with his priest. And I think Rudin just hit tier 2. And I think he's going for the Naga again. That would definitely make sense. One of the strongest level 1 heroes. But yeah, Kaiser is dropping out. Maybe some time to think for Hawk. How to deal with it. So let's take a look at the straw poll. For you guys, Hawk was the big favorite. Okay, here we go. Panda. Okay, not all in. Makes of course sense when he's playing Entrance of Lore. Because it's gonna be such a long time until the breakers will arrive. What makes. Oh! One more hit! One more hit! And here it comes! Demon Hunter down! Is this the one big move that brings Hawk back into this game? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it because he lost so much, but he gets the second hero as no, 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 no. He escapes with a big fat panda. Ah, oh, that would have been so huge. Killing two heroes in a row, but no. The panda survives and now he can creep. Now he can creep, but yeah. I was about to say something before this happens, but I totally forgot. This series is just great. If Rudin takes this home, this might have been the most impressive Night Elf vs. Human I've seen in month. <laughs> months. But yeah, the way until level 3 is a long way. And Hawk is trying to get some air, to breathe a little, uh, to get the Night Elf away from his expansion. And this is working quite well so far. And of course, there's no Demon Hunter. There's only three Hunters. But Runan is like, what? You're coming to my base? I don't care. Oh no, he's surrounded again? He is surrounded again? Oh, Staff, is it enough? Yes, it is. But the moon wells, man, they're all getting dry. He doesn't want to use immolation on the footies. Now the hunters arrive, but they're all low. Piercing damage coming in from the water elemental, so it's easy to deal with the breath of fire from hell. And now with dry, it gets so easy to pick them up. Oh, whoa, 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 panda, move, boy, move! Two more hits. It's just two more hits, but the dry, it... The is denying! No, he's not! He's tried to deny it the panda, but he failed. He should have slowed the Archmage, maybe. Oh, level 4 now. Two hero kills that put Hawk back on the map. Um, okay. <laughs> I was just about to say Rudin's game is falling apart. But yeah, how to come back from two hero losses. Three hero losses. Maybe too greedy. Maybe just the wrong tactics or maybe just Hawk was too good. Or maybe this was just not his map. But the fighting spirit of Hawk is alive. 2-1. It's only 2-1, but still, there are two. 
Match Points for Rude and Left.